what is up ladies and gentlemen coming at you with some more Transformers Studio Series action today we're taking a look at the brand new Transformers Studio Series number 63 Autobot Top Spin he's from the Transformers Dark of the Moon and uh, yeah he's an awesome figure right out of the box and uh, yeah you get the same kind of backdrop that you get with Sentinel Prime that we previously reviewed a while back and uh, yeah so we can set him up here like that for right now. Take a quick look at the packaging. I have to insert out of it right now. But nice picture of top spin right there. Looking all top spinning. Got an all about Lego on his head. It's pretty cool. He's Studio Series number 63. On the side you got your nice CGI rendered of him. Which is pretty cool. In his robot mood. Which is pretty cool. On the back you got your obligatory product shots. Um, he is an official GM and NASCAR product, and, uh, yeah, uh, Battle of Chicago, and, uh, he transforms in 15 steps, and, uh, yeah, very cool, and then, like I said, get with that back prop, so this is an official NASCAR product, very nice sticker on it, <laughs> so, yeah, enough of that, with the packaging, Moving right along to the figure itself. And, uh, yeah. This figure here is, uh, he's a, he's a, uh, he shares, uh, the arm kibble here. Like, the arm transformation. He shares a little bit with, uh, Roadbuster. Um, but not the whole transformation, uh, but, uh, it's pretty neat. Pretty neat right off the bat. Um, you can see I have an Autobot logo right there to him because he does not come with an Autobot logo. It's supposed to have one on top of his head. Get in there on that face sculpt. There ain't one on his head, so. Like it's supposed to be. I put one right here in, on his arm in robot mood. Figure would be nice right there. But, uh. So, yeah. Uh, the weapons he comes with. He comes with uh, these uh, rubberized weapons here. You get two of them. Very nice. And it's a soft rubber. And you can peg him in on each side of his vehicle, I mean his robot move, whatever. There's a port here, there's a port here, and then he can hold them, and then he can have them in his hand here too. But these are where his claw weapons go. There's a soft rubber plastic as well. So, you can peg him in right there. Or he can hold them in his hand, whatever you want to do. But, yeah. Like I said, though, I'm not going to get back with the backdrop there. It's the same one that comes with uh, uh, Dark of the Moon Sentinel Prime. So, so yeah. So, yeah. Let me get the camera situated here. Here we go. Like I said, details on Very nice silver on his face with the blue visor. His head is a uh, soft rubber. Um, the part of his head is a soft rubber, like a top piece. So, pretty cool. These are soft rubber here. So, not much going on. Got a nice silver on his chest. Nice detailed. Very cool. Articulation wise, you can see his head's on a ball joint. Very nice. And his arms are on a ball joint. Rotate all the way around. Got a bicep swivel and a uh, elbow joint, but uh, the backwards elbow joint due to transformation, and it clicks up and you click it into place when you're in this mode here. So, so you can see where I put the Autobot logo right there. Figure would be good right there. That's your figure. You can do whatever you want with it, right? <clears throat> Nothing in the waist, unfortunately, but you got the ball joint on the hips. Ball joint, mushroom peg at the uh, thigh swivel, nice knee joint right there, and uh, feet tilt in and out just a little bit, unless you pull this panel back a little bit, and you can actually wiggle waggle, but nothing really pivoting for this in his vehicle, uh, robot mode here, so, so yeah, anyway, it's pretty cool, we actually got, uh, top spin here like I said there was like uh I was waiting for him to get released and uh here size comparison with his 
one of his own wrecker buddies and uh, here's roadbuster and uh yeah definitely a uh, really cool duo sitting together <laughs> very cool and you can see i put all about lego and roadbuster right there there we go put all about lego right there he deserved it he deserved it so anywho now, like I said, there was like, uh, if you had the original Dark of the Moon, uh, uh, original Dark of the Moon, top spin, um, here he is, and, uh, here he is, a little bit back, bigger, um, I do believe this is his movie uh, face due to his other face, uh, it's a completely different looking face, um, yeah, it is what it is on that. Um, you can see the chest is about the same, but there ain't no yellow on him. They did the yellow, I do believe, because it was the NASCAR. Uh, because of the NASCAR color. With the number 48. But, uh, you can tell which which one's the original, which one's the new one. Um, the new one's a very nice detail, but the, the original one, I actually like, uh, you can actually take these. Actually, uh, aim these up this way. Off of his backpack without popping it off the ball joint. That's where it was, uh, come on, popping it off the bowl joint like that, but, uh, he's pretty cool, and his hands was molded in, claw things were just molded into his hand, um, but, but you can actually mimic this, uh, you can actually unpeg this from here, you can actually keep it pegged in there if you want, or just bring this up. And over like this, so you can give them that. Flip this up, and it's on a hinge, so you can actually give them that taller stance if you want. And then you can get them be out like this. It's it's a thing you can do with this. Um, me personally, I actually like uh, to keep it, keep his arms just flared out like that. Um, you don't have to peg it in but keep it flared out <clears throat> but uh so yeah like I said we did Road Buster here's the original of uh Top Spin another uh comparison we can Studio Series Shatter for size comparison there we go Another studio series comparison. Here's Bumblebee. There we go. And one of the other previous reviews in the in this wave, Cliff Jumper. There we go. So, like I said, the Cliff Jumper is a smaller deluxe compared to uh, Top Spin. So yeah. So anywho, <clears throat> the transformation wise form. Um, like I said, he's pretty cool. Um, I almost forgot to show you guys this. This is Ultra Wreckers on the wheels. Um, I'm not sure what it says on Roadbusters. Yeah, it says old. It says uh, Ultra Wreckers as well. That's cool. So hopefully I can be able to find Top Spin at my local Targets, one of my Targets, without uh, people taking them all. <laughs> but uh, anywho, you can transform him. Um, like I said, uh, transforming this vehicle mode, you can take these pieces off. We'll get to them for storage. You can actually leave these pieces on the guns on the side. Uh, first thing you want to do is grab his fist, rotate it down in. And actually, before I go that, um, I don't know if you remember, you can actually see his knuck uh, his knuckles. His molded in knuckles there. Okay, and look at Roadbusters. They had the molded in knuckles, which is awesome. So, you know, Wreckers ain't, ain't putting up with no shit. <laughs> so anyway, like I said, transformation, bring this in like so. Then bring this back and around. This brings up in. You see this tab right here. We'll tab right in there. You can actually see it forms around that ball joint, which is cool. Up, peg it in, 
There we go. Next up, un well not unpeg, <laughs> unclip it like I just did like an idiot. Um, pull this down. Pegged it in like an idiot. There we go, back into place. Next up, I'm gonna rotate this down like so, and then clip this in like that. That's the side of the car. Both sides, rotate, bring this down, and clip it in. And then you wanna bring his arms down completely, and they will just sit in here like this, so he has like wings now. You can fly. You can fly. <laughs> Next up, bring these exhausts back just a little bit. Get to the backpack section here. Rotate his hood around like so. Then you want to lift his head up just a little bit and grab in here. Pull that out. And this will unlock this stuff here. Okay. Then you can bring this whole section back. Like so. Next, uh, we can't uh, put this in together yet until we get the front done. So the front, grab this foot, and we'll rotate his wheel over like this. Unpeg it from here. Bring this up, and this whole piece will come down. So that's one side of the car. So bring this up, up and around. Bring this up. Fuse the two halves together like so now the fun part is actually before we actually fuse them together you have to bring this up see where this tab is right here there's a tab right here you can barely see it there's a tab right in here you gotta bring it up and in on that like that then sandwich this together like so. Next, bring that bumper piece down. And if you want to, you can actually rotate his head around. So you can actually um, display it. I mean, not, not show it. <laughs> and bring the section back. Bring the section back. Peg everything in together because this side here the car you see this little peg just goes right straight through this piece of plastic and it gets clipped in which is pretty cool so make sure it's clipped in he's actually a much more easier piece to get clipped in compared to uh, road busters and you just sandwich this all together there we go, I think I did it. There we go. Alrighty. Now we got Top Spin in his NASCAR murder car mode. <laughs> so, very cool. Very nice with the yellow. I like how they put the yellow on the tires, on the, on the letters for the tires. The NASCAR on the back here. 48. I put the Autobot, I put the Autobot logo up there. Um, that's his Autobot logo from his robot mood, but eh, it ain't hurting. It ain't hurting one bit. But, uh, so yeah. Very cool. So, storage wise, for the clamps, you just set these clamps in here. There's a post right, uh, port right here. You just post that in, clamp it in, and they stick right in there. And that's part of the piece of the car which is pretty neat so do that again there we go and then we got him in his murder car NASCAR death so let's make sure we have this all pushed together still a little bit gappy right there but eh, it is what it is so yeah very cool Without knocking off everything else here. 
So yeah, very neat. He rolls like a mass car should. <laughs> but yeah, the details on him in this vehicle, man, it shows the Impala, the yellow right there. You got the gunmetal gun metal, uh, gray mixed with silver, which is cool. It's just, they did a really good job on this on this figure. I actually love it. I don't know about look, it actually looks like it deserves, it stays there. It looks like it's not even a part, not even a sticker. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So, anywho. Size comparison wise. I'm not going to transform the original top spin. But, if you remember, if you remember the original Walmart, Walmart exclusives they did with the alternate colors. Here's one right here. With the original top spin mold, so uh, I think this is like supposed to be uh, supercharged or uh, like a, some kind of super uh, paint job, just like what they did with uh, uh, Roadbuster, like this color here for Roadbuster. So I'm actually thankful I still got those deluxes and never got rid of them. <laughs> so very cool. Very cool indeed. So you can see how they mimic the murder guns of death on both sides. But they make these guns look better. <laughs> so yeah. Size comparison. Here's Siege Side Swipe. Size comparison. And if you want to, here's the other NASCAR of Roadbuster. <laughs> Very cool. And then the regular version of Roadbuster. Very cool. I like how they just made him just a regular stock car instead of putting guns and stuff on the side. I actually like this. It's pretty cool how they did that back then. So anyway, um, at the end of uh, at the end of the review here, ladies and gentlemen, I'll have uh. Of uh, pictures of a slideshow at the end of with him with the Roadbuster in his vehicle mode for you since I since I really don't feel like transforming Roadbuster back but uh, I actually did a couple pictures previous before this so that would actually work perfectly so anyway transform him back and uh, these are soft rubber as well like I said as you can still see the 48 up here so it looks like they did the 48 decal and then they put this on top so they could have moved it back out a little bit or moved this back a little bit so you can actually see the 48 but yeah again what could you do guys what could you do anyway transform him back into his robot mode Come on, back in. There we go. Yeah. Just bring it back. Arms out. Rotate his head. arms out and around grab him out of his knuckles if you can try to get that out of there feet I'm gonna bring the bring this uh, blue section back bring his toe down tab it in and rotate this tire around which gives you that original deluxe feel with the tire the original version of them where the tire goes so, anyway, I'm tab this, bring this up. We'll bring them up this way this time for the final of the review. So, 
there we go. There is Top Spin back in his robot mood, and it's uh, very cool. Like I said, though, the uh, Studio Series line is really doing good, giving us the figures that we actually deserved from the movie line. Um, don't get me wrong, the movie figures was all right, but it's like they were they were uh, poorly designed. Um, but now we're actually getting some better fi looking figures for what what we've been wanting. So, so yeah. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys enjoyed this awesome review of the new Transformers Studio Series number 63 Top Spin. So, hope hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, definitely, uh, definitely, like I said, though, hopefully everything works out well when we get more awesome Studio Series figures coming. So, till next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Trans Aaron 3, reviewing the new Transformers Studio Series number 63 top spin until uh the wrecker top spin until next time ladies and gentlemen hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to check everybody's links down in the description down below and don't forget i'm doing a 600 subscriber giveaway so whenever i get to 600 subs i'll be doing a giveaway so until next time ladies and gentlemen i'm your host trans 38 talking again i'm out of here later and it's time to wreck us kill them